Hi, I'm Senator Mike Lee. Labors of Utah started as an opportunity to celebrate Pioneer Day, the 24th of July, in Washington, D.C. We started by serving homemade root beer. Little by little, we got interest from Utah food producers, and it turned into an opportunity to showcase food produced in Utah to Washington, D.C. It's become known far and wide on both ends of the Capitol in both political parties as one of the best events of the year to sample good food, and it's food from Utah. I want to thank the Utah food producers who contributed to this year's event and made it possible for us to donate these gift bags to our doctors, nurses, and first responders to every registered, certified, accredited hospital in the state. Uh, these are the men and women who are keeping us afloat, keeping us going during the global pandemic. And I thank them and all the food producers who participated. To the doctors, nurses, and first responders throughout our state, Thank you for all you do. Thank you for keeping us healthy. Thank you for keeping us safe and giving us the confidence that we need to move forward. Yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Chris Bowler. Uh, I am the CEO of Creminelli Fine Meats. And uh, Creminelli Fine Meats uh, dry cures Italian charcuterie products like salami and prosciutto and pancetta and other wonderful specialty food products uh, of Italian origin. And we do that right here in Salt Lake City, Utah. It's a unique year. Everything is a little bit different this year, and uh, we're glad that uh, we're able to do something in celebration of Utah's food, and it feels um, all the more meaningful to do it in celebration and in gratitude of our frontline workers. Hi, I'm Rowena Montoya, the owner of Julianne Caramels. We make over 40 different flavors of caramel. We're a local company here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, we use a local dairy. Our caramels are really fresh. There's no preservatives in it. We keep it really simple with five ingredients. Utah brings people together. You know, we are big into family. We love helping one another. You can't have a better cheerleader than someone in Utah. I'm Alan Lauer. I'm Chad Lauer. We represent Lauer Family Foods in Richmond, Utah. You know, we're in the Cache Valley, which is a, a beautiful valley here nestled in the northern part of the state with you know, gorgeous mountains and green and it's, it's lush and it's, it's beautiful, but not just the beauty. Um, in this valley, and not just the valley of the state of Utah, I think there's a sense of community, a sense of unity, uh, especially here recently with the challenges that we've all been struggling with, with COVID-19 and the effects of that. You know, you kind of get the feeling that we're all in this together, you know, so we're, we're not just a, a community, a state, we're a family. And you know, I feel that here in, in the state of Utah. Uh, my name is Jason Glade. I'm the president and CEO of Taffy Town. Uh, Taffy Town is a fourth generation family business that makes saltwater taffy. And we make the best in the country and we're proud of it. We love the state of Utah. Uh, my great grandfather started the business over 100 years ago here in the state. And we've fallen in love with this, uh, this state and what it does for us. Uh, we love the values that the state brings. Uh, the family core values, uh, the environment, the beauty of the scenery here in the state. And it serves a great crossroads for distribution, uh, marketing, and travel around the country. Dave Davis, President and CEO of the Utah Food Industry Association. So I think it's more important this year to be involved than ever before. With the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it would have been really easy for us and the, uh, um, the team to just fold up shop and say, we're gonna come back next year and do this. But I think that there was a strong feeling that we wanted to do something to give back to the community. And so we feel like it's really important to be involved in rewarding and recognizing our medical first responders. We would extend our gratitude to our, those on the front lines of our uh, medical facilities, those that are treating and attending to COVID-19 patients and are going out there and every day putting themselves at risk to serve their community. I'm Scott Anderson, President and CEO of Zions Bank. And Zions Bank is the oldest banking operation in Utah. It's been around for almost 150 years and we are happy to be in this community. I have the honor of being on the board of Intermountain Healthcare 
And so I see from that position, the hours, the work, the risk, that doctors and nurses and all of the caregivers put themselves at. And they do it because they have compassion, they want to help people, and I appreciate that. And I want them to know that we all appreciate it and we all recognize it. So to all of you caregivers, thank you so much. And to Senator Lee, thank you for honoring them in this way.